Okay, so welcome back to Unreal Engine Indy. I would like to say sorry I haven't posted in a few days. Uh, I think it's been more than five days. I've been busy with the game that I'm developing, Jotunheim Shield. So let's get back to the tutorials. Today we need to disable the movement because when you did the recall animation, you were able to move while the animation was playing. So also I would like to say is I'm not an expert with C++, so if in any of my tutorials you see anything and you are experienced with C++ and Unreal Engine, uh, if you see anything that I'm doing wrong or anything that can be done better uh, that is not within the best practice, then go ahead and make a comment below. and because we're all here to learn from each other. I'm just here to pass on the knowledge that I have collected so far. So with that, let's get started. So when we play the animation, let me go ahead and reorganize this. I like having the header file on the left and the CPP file on the right. So when we play the animation, let's find the animation. Method. Yeah, there it is. Recall. So when we montage is playing. So when the montage is playing, we need to disable the movement. But the thing is, when the when the montage stops playing, we need to re-enable movement. We need to let Wukong get back to walking and be being able to move. So with that, what we are going to use is a timer. So we are going to be using the Git World Timer. Set up the logic in the header file. So go into the header file, and what we need is the F Timer handle. And I'll explain all of this once we get to it. So we need a timer. We're going to call it Timer Movement walking and this is going to be timer handle to disable character movement And it's used with montages. I just want to go ahead and do that. I've got a new keyboard, so I'm tr still trying to get used to it. Uh, it's a nice mechanical keyboard. So, and the keys are a little bit shorter than the keyboard I was using. So, we need a timer movement walking. So that is our F timer handle. So let's go up here where we did the recall. What we need to do is, after we do a recall, we need to do void enable walk. And this will make sense once we get to the code. So you need to set character movement back to walking. So we need to set the character movement back to walking. Let's go ahead and create this. Current definition, enable walking. What we need to do is we need to refactor some of this. Let's make a comment. Enable walking for character. Okay. What we need to do is refactor this. This recall is great, but the thing is you're doing all this logic here to play the montage. Now, that's just for one animation. So when if you're going to have multiple animations, which of course you will, you don't want to have to do this logic over and over and over again. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to refactor this. And what we're going to do is we are going to create a play anim a montage function. So what we're going to do is come up here, enable walk. What we are going to do is I'm going to come over here and copy the code, paste this in. So we play the animation montage that disable movement. This is going to be a montage that you play when you want to disable the movement and when the montage has finished, you re-enable the movement. So you want to do a void play anim montage and you want to do a u anim montage and then montage to play. These are the arguments, parameters that you want to use. We need an F name, which is going to be called section name. Now, I just did equals default because when you create a montage, it already has a section name called default. So I just wanted to go ahead and just put that in there. So you don't have to put it in there when you're calling the montage. When you do play in a montage, you can just pass, you can just pass in the montage to play. Now, if you have sections in there, like section one, two, three, and four, then you want to go ahead and do these section names. So let's go ahead and create this. Generate definition. So now what we need to do is we need to come up here and we need to make a comment. Play anim montage that disables character movements. So what we are going to do is come up here to recall and we're going to delete all that code. Some code. I'm going to paste in some code and I'm going to explain all of this. So you can pause the video and then you can go ahead and type all this in and then I will explain it as we go through it. So you anim instance anim instance equals git mesh git anim instance. We've already done that. If anim instance and a montage to play, if that is true, because the montage to play is the you anim montage to play. It's right up here because we passed it in. F name, section name. If you didn't pass in a section name, no problem. It was just going to play the default. So if an in instance and montage to play, if montage to play is set, which if you did not set in a blueprint, then the logic is not going to run. And then we need to check to see if montage is already playing. So if the anim instance montage is playing, we need to disable character movement. Disable character movement. We need to get character movement, disable movement. Kind of like how we did up here for like character movement, max walk speed, run speed, get character movement. All of this can be used. Get character movement here, get character movement, air control. All that right here, get character movement, disable movement. There's a lot of things that you can do with get character movement. So if you do get character movement and you do that, with the code completion, we have everything that we have here. So you can just scroll through here and see what you need. And sometimes when you're developing things, you're going to need to do this. That's why I like Rider so much. It's kind of it looks a little bit better and a little bit organized. So get character movement, disable the character movement. Get time it takes to play montage. Okay, now we need to get time it takes to play the montage. I did a N32 section index equals montage to play get section index and the section name. 
So the section name is up here. The reason we're passing an index is because we need to get the play length for that section name. So we create an int32 section length, a montage to play get section length, which is the section index. I figured this all out by going to the the montage the uanim instance and to the documentation on Unreal Engine site. And then I just read through what all these functions it has. Get section index, get section length, montage to play. So that's how I figured all this out. Just go to the documentation for the UAnim instance. And once we get that, we have to play montage and start timer. So the anim instance, we want to montage to play, which is montage to play. We're passing it in here. Play anim montage. Montage to play, which we will I will show you in the next step what that is. Anim instance montage jump to section. We want to jump to the section name. If not, if this is not set, then section name is just going to be default because put it in here section name equals default now set timer to enable walking after montage has stopped playing so we have to get a world timer get world timer manager get the timer instance from the actors world then we have to set a timer now set timer takes the timer handle the user class which is going to be this the delegate and then the end rate which is the length and then to loop false we don't want it to loop if you want it to loop then you set it to true and then we have other sections down here if I can get this back so we have other things in here and out handle and object object to call the timer function on and timer method end rate all of this uh, can be explained, and a lot of times when you're developing things, you're going to need to read through this and, and understand, okay, what do I need here? Okay, I need an F timer handle, I need the user class, the delegate, the float, the end rate, the boolean, whether it's a loop or not. So what we did is set the timer, timer movement walking. This is the timer handle that we set in the header file. This. We, and you need to do a Wukong character enable walking. This is going to call enable walking down here. And then the section length, which is up here, section length. That is the time it takes to play. So once this timer is set, it's going to run enable walking. And for here, get character movements and then down here set movement mode and then move what do I want to do I want to enable walking again so in order to use this just do play anim a montage and we want to what montage we want to play is the recall montage and we need to do an F name in this section we have is called recall if you have default in there in your montage you can just do do this and it'll be fine so now that we have that set I think we can go ahead and save it and let's go ahead and do a hot reload. Let's go ahead and click play. We can still walk. We do the montage. I cannot walk. Cannot move. But now I can move. So that's how you disable movement. 
and I'll come back in here. The beauty of this is we have the play anim montage right here. And then we just pass in a montage to play with a section name. So this logic here, we can reuse multiple times. Let's say you have a dodge roll and you can just say dodge roll and you can do play and montage, dodge roll montage and the section name. So we have code here to play and a montage that we can reuse. So what I suggest that you do is to practice this and also get used to doing things on your own because the only way you're really going to learn is by doing things yourself. There's going to be a time where you have to stop doing tutorials and just start writing code and figuring things out. So, I mean, you're always going to have to do tutorials to be able to learn things. I mean, I still do them. But you need to not get into the habit of just doing tutorials after tutorial. Uh, the best thing to do is just, just jump in and start doing things. And it's going to be frustrating in the beginning, but you'll eventually get it. So I think the best thing to do is to make another montage. So come in here into the header and say, how did we do the recall montage? Look through the code and say, okay, how did we do the recall montage? Well, we had to create a UNM montage and call it recall montage. So you can create one yourself, whichever one you want to do, and then come in here, create a binding for it. So go down, create a binding, and then try and reuse this play and a montage. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you very much. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye for now.